Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're going to start the Rise of the Empire campaign, so let's waste no time and get right into it. New game, since I've already done this once. So I'm really looking forward to this. Mostly I'm looking forward to showing you guys the space battles. Here we go. Cutscene. Okay, maybe not. The no idea that the music was going to be there. Totally forgot. Okay, so here we go. The first level. Magito. Amongst the ruins. Playing as the clones for this part. A powerful energy source must be acquired from the CIS manufacturing plant. One downside about the campaign is we are not going to get to play as the robots or the rebels. Yeah, I know. That kind of sucks. But I'll do a video on both of them showing off each of them. Instant action. Oh, sorry, can't watch that. Still don't want my videos to get caught for copyright. Amongst the runes, General Ki Adi Mundi is leading the attack on the CIS manufacturing planet of Magito. A powerful energy collector supplies power to its factories. Destroy the energy collector and recover the unique power crystals from its core. Sounds simple enough. As you can see, with the cold clone trooper on the left, the clone troopers are not the same as what they were in the first game. They're not all white, they've now got this blue stripe going down them. I don't quite get it, but hey ho. Change is a change, eh? Here we go. A little cutscene from the 501st Diary. In the waning months of the Clone Wars, the 501st faced missions critical to the agenda of Chancellor Palpatine. When we arrived at the bombed-out ruins of Maigiro, our Jedi commander believed we had been sent to take out a droid energy collector. What Kiari Mundi didn't know, however, was that our unit of the 501st was really after an experimental Maigitan power source that the Chancellor wanted for his super laser. Keeping Mundi in the dark wasn't easy. The Jedi had become increasingly wary of the Chancellor's doings, and were on the lookout for the slightest hint of treachery. Just like the rest of them, though, he never caught whiff of what was really going on until it was far too late. So as you can tell from that, we're pretty much on the, well, the good guys, but not so much the good side. So here we go. Jet Trooper, you actually need to get points to unlock certain classes now. Uh, which kind of, it's interesting. But there they go, there's the new uh, clone class I was talking about, the clone commander. He's kind of interesting. Also, let's go to the sharpshooter. I've missed sniping. So there we go. Cross the bridge and capture the Ford Command's post inside the central building. Okay. We've got 60. They've got unlimited. That hardly seems fair, doesn't it? So the bad thing about this game, I find, is that simply just sitting back and taking them all, taking, destroying the robots one by one, Moving up to command post is not a good strategy. For the campaign for this, you actually need to just kind of force your way through and hope you don't die to get to a command point, to objectives. Now, I'm not a big fan of that. I really am not. I would much prefer that the enemy have a set limit, a set number of reinforcements. And then maybe you can take that number out and then have a clear shot to your objective, but it's not the way. And that's a new clone. Uh, Tripper, but uh, not not clone, but uh, droid unit. It's like a magna. It's like the General Grievous's, um, General Grievous's um, body bodyguards, except they carry pistols that shoot rockets. Basically, I don't understand how that works, but uh, there we go. We have it. So we've got the first objective. We don't lose that many people. Take out those particle cannon turrets to clear the way for General at Kiadi Mundi's arrival. This objective, really simple, get into the at, I think it's an at, to come over here, shoot them, use this, use the mortar cannon, if I can, if you can hit, there you go, and you, as you can see, one hit takes them down, well, two hits, <laughs> there you go, done, and now we can play as Ki Adi Mundi, done, so now we have to come over here and destroy the shield barricade. As Kiadi Mundi, it's no problem. Done. <laughs> as you can see, the objectives in this first: capture the northwestern command post that will serve as a launching point for our assault on the energy collector. 
And I was talking about in my first video that you can die. That guy just took me out as a Jedi because I wasn't paying attention. But it's okay. Let's show off the clone commander. The clone commander has a machine gun that basically it takes time. Oh no, it was an, it was an AAT that took me. It takes time to warm up. Uh, but when it does, uh, it is quite devastating. And it's he's also got a rally defense increase for his it's like a support skill. I mean, I've never really been that big on the clone commander unit. I've never really liked him. I guess in the right hands, he could be a very, very good uh, unit. But mm, not really that fond of him. There we go. Let's take him out. The only thing is the machine gun does have unlimited ammo, but it will run out and overheat quite a bit. Now destroy the energy collector core. This core powers the facilities in the area. Shut it down and we'll be able to significantly impair their ability to manufacture droids. So let's swap, I don't like this. Let's go to the shop, sure. The sh as you can see, the character models have been improvised from the last one. He just healed himself. There you go. Through here. Now, uh, I think we want to take out this shield generator. So we can have an easier time of going through. There we go. Uh, no scope. No scope. Yes, I get it. Yes. Okay. Got an auto turret. Ah, an auto turret here could be useful. Oh, apparently, I can't. They're called the Magna Guards. I don't understand how their pistol. Oh, come on. I don't understand how their pistol rocket launcher works quite exactly, but yeah, I'm not gonna question. There we go, that's that done. As you can see, their aim is quite terrible. <laughs> Should have killed me long ago. Alright, let's keep on going. Around here. Boom. Dead. Through here. Here's another one. Is that destroyed? Okay, so you only need to take down two, and then you can come in here and take down the core, which is already destabilized. It's a joint of there. always seems to be a joint of there. I think that's planned. That's that done. Now collect the core samples and return them to the dropship on the other side of the bridge. Now here comes the difficult part in the mission. Sorry, I had to focus here to kind of joint the you need to pick up this, basically like flag from Capture the Flag, and you need to get to your ship where basically where you started. Now, um, this can be difficult because enemy forces will spawn in down there to try and stop you. So here we go, let's see if we can manage it. At this point you should just be focusing on getting back to the ship. I mean, ship. Any, see, enemy forces have magically appeared here to try and stop us from reaching our destination. Which is sprint, thankfully. Sprinting makes it so much easier. Sprint down here. There's the there's the gunship. Hand that off. And we're we're done. Victory. So, to be very honest with you. I did prefer the kind of campaign from the oh, success of the mission on my Guido was something of a revelation for the men of the 501st. Suddenly, we realized that the Jedi could be fooled. And if they could be fooled, they could be killed. Oh, dramatic. To be honest with you, I did prefer the campaign from Star Wars Battlefront 1 where it wasn't so much objective based and more so tactical based where you actually had to think about how to win and then now it's just like go from A to B, A to B, A to B, A to B over and over and over again hold off, do the objective, move to the next one it kind of takes away the fun of it to be fair I mean it's still a fun game but fresh from playing Star Wars Battlefront I've just realised how the campaign in Battlefront 1 is much more strong in my opinion anyway I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, thank you very much for watching this. Please leave a like and a comment if you feel up for it. And if you are feeling generous, please subscribe. 
Uh, and I'll see you in the guys in the next video, which as you can see looks to be Coruscant. <laughs> which is, I think, our first space battle. See you all guys all there.